you know, one of the things I've been writing about lately is the uh, is the growth of the corporate headquarters and how impactful that's been on Cincinnati. Um, is are we done with, with the growth? Or <laughs> well, I hope not. Is it I hope get? not, because as a company, we have a lot of growth ahead. The, the spurt of growth you've seen in the last few years has been because we've changed the processes that we have in the company. So a number of things have been centralized, and we've moved much of that, not all of that, but much of that to Cincinnati. Some of that has been because Dun Dunhumby is located here, and we have a partnership with Dunhumby to work through our customer data. So a lot of our team needs to be here with them, and they, of course, are here because of us. Many of our suppliers have chosen to locate some of their merchandising operations here. That's also been an additional growth in the downtown and the immediate surrounding areas. So we don't think we're done with that kind of growth. The, the sharp increase, though, we've, we have accomplished because we've made the process change. Now the growth that comes will mostly be the result of growth of the company. But as you heard, we have lots of growth plans. And with those growth plans, we expect to see more people added to the Cincinnati market as a whole and to our corporate offices as a whole, too. A 38-quarter streak is really kind of amazing, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a 38 quarters in a row of identical positive sales is remarkable, but we're only getting started. So I think of it as a really nice start. <laughs> okay. Now, in the last quarter, uh, sales were slightly short of expectations. Is, is there any evidence that sales are going to Actually, they out? weren't short of our expectations. Okay. Some people in the market didn't, did not fully recognize the effect that pharmacy sales would have on the total. The, the total there being that pharmacy has had lots of name brand uh, prescriptions switching to generic, and the cost is radically different. And so our prescription count is up strongly, but the dollars in pharmacy are down strongly because of this really big shift. It's happened across the whole industry, and anybody who sells prescriptions has experienced it. If you take pharmacy out of our numbers, instead of the 3.3% increase we had in identical sales, we had a 4.0% increase. And that is clearly ahead of all four quarters last year on the same kind of comparison. Right. So we're actually quite pleased with the sales, and we view them as strong. And uh, the organic, the, the growth of that uh, simply? Yeah, the growth of natural food and organics has been amazing. Customers continue to love it, and we continue to invest in it. Our Simple Truth brand, which is our brand both of natural and Simple Truth organic, is our brand of organics, is an affordable way to buy those products. And it's been a big hit in our stores. And I think you called it a home run in the last call. What's, yeah, what's absolutely. the next what's the next big thing for Oh it's hard it's hard to say. We have a number of tricks up our sleeve that we <laughs> hope to introduce over the next year. Okay. All right.